In order to manage variant products in EcomDash, you must set up the parent and child relationship, then create variations and assign those variations to the children products. Once this process is completed, you can submit the variant products to your sales channels. So to get started, let's create the variation options. To do that, navigate to Settings, Inventory Settings, and Variation Attributes. From here, you can add new and edit existing variations, or what we call option sets. If you've downloaded listings from a sales channel where EcomDash supports variation management, you may already see a few option sets listed. If so, you can click the plus sign and expand the option set, and it will show the various option values. Now to add a new option set, you can click the blue Add New button on the left-hand side, enter the name of the option set, and choose the value type. Now the type options are String for text, Yes and No for the drop-down option, or Numeric if it's just a number being sent. So for example, if you're adding a variation such as Color, you'll enter Color in the option set name, and then choose string as the type. That way you can type in the color as text and then click save. Now once the option set has been created, you can start adding the various color options for this set. To do that, click the plus sign to expand the option set, then click the blue add new option button. So within this pop-up, you'll see two fields, the option name and the option value. The option name will be the word that you use to identify this product internally. And then the option value is the name that will be displayed externally on the sales channel. So for example, internally, let's say you choose red, but you only define it as RD internally. Well, externally, you want customers to know what this option value is, so you'll input red. Then click Save. As you can see here, when you click to expand the color option set, you'll see that red is listed here. Continue following these steps to add each option for your option set. Now once you've completed adding all of your options, you'll want to create the parent product for this variation. So start by navigating to Inventory, the Quick Links option, and choose Add New Parent Product. Go ahead and add the product name in the SKU number and then click Save. Now that you've created your parent products, you want to associate your various child products to this specific parent product. To do that, scroll to the bottom and click Add Variation. This is where you can search your child SKUs and then associate them with this parent product. To associate the child product, you just click the plus button on the left hand side for all of your child SKUs. Once completed, you'll see them listed at the bottom. Now that I've associated the child SKUs to the parent, I need to choose the variant option for these child SKUs. In this example, I'm going to choose size. To do that, in the left hand side, click into the Select Some Options field to view the drop down option and choose size. Now you'll see column appear to the right side of each child SKU labeled size. You'll also see a checkbox next to the word size. By selecting this checkbox, we'll tell the sales channel that you are listing this product to that this is your primary variant. Be sure to have this checkbox selected for the specific variant that you want the primary to be. Now you'll want to select the proper option set value for each of these child SKUs. To do that, click into the drop-down and select the correct option value for each of these child SKUs. Once you've added all the option values, go ahead and click Save. Now one important task that you must complete before listing your variation products is adding an image for both your parent SKU and your child SKUs. To do that, click the Images tab and you want to add the specific image associated with your parent product. Once you've added the image for your parent product, navigate to the Variation Images tab, select the option and the SKU, and pick from the options below and choose Use. Once you've completed this for all your variant options, you can choose Exit.
And that's it. Now that you have the child and parent SKUs added into your system, along with the proper option sets, you can now list to any channel we support, Variation Management.